Hey everyone, good morning. Welcome back. Today I'm going to pick up a new Sigma Art Series 24 to 70 2.8 lens. And as I was getting ready, I figured I might as well take you guys along. Um, I'm gonna go get the lens and then I think I'm gonna go take some video with it to test it out. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy and come along on this journey with me. All right, let's go. later. I really don't like Craigslist meetups, but sometimes it's the best way to get uh, camera gear. Um, buying new can sometimes be really expensive, and if you find good used gear on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, um, sometimes it's in almost perfect condition and you can save a lot of money. So that's what I'm doing, and I will be back Wish me luck. Oh, sweet. Well, I got the lens. Really cool guy. Thanks, Derek. So yeah, here it is. It's a beefy lens. The thing I'm most excited to try is that this lens actually has optical stabilization. That's super unique because the Canon series of this lens actually doesn't have image stabilization built in, but the F4 version of the Canon lens does. I didn't want to sacrifice having 2.8, and when I found out that the Sigma Art Series 24-70 has 2.8 and optical stabilization, yeah, that's what really sold me on this lens. We're gonna drive back downtown and test out the lens. So initial thoughts right off the bat, um, this lens is so solid, super well built and the image quality is so sharp, um, which is exactly what I expected from Sigma with their art series lenses. One thing that took a little bit of getting used to is that the zoom ring is actually bigger than the focus ring. I actually sometimes went to try to focus with the zoom ring and zoomed in a little bit and then zoomed out and then had to readjust to the focus ring to do that. So that was a little bit confusing because on the 18 to 35 that I use a lot, um, the focus ring is on the outside and then the zoom ring is on the inside. Let's talk about the optical stabilization on this lens. Um, this is what I mainly bought the lens for over the Canon um, and I was really curious to see how it worked with handheld video shooting and I was actually really pleased. It's incredible to be able to shoot handheld and be able to shoot at 70 millimeters, um, which isn't possible without optical stabilization. I would have needed some sort of tripod or gimbal or something to be able to shoot at that focal length. And I think in some of the examples you can see is that it is a little bit jittery in some scenarios. Um, at 24 though, the optical stabilization is pretty incredible. One thing to note is that I did have kind of a crazy camera rig with my other camera, my X-T3 actually like mounted off the side of the red. Um, and so that created like a weird balance and it made the camera extremely heavy. Um, so it did affect my shooting style a little bit. My arms were getting pretty tired by the end of it too. Another thing to note with this lens is that in an ideal world, um, I would have had a black promise filter on there as well as a variable ND filter. But unfortunately, my variable ND and Black Pro Mist are both 77 millimeters, and this lens comes in at a very wide 82 millimeter diameter. Um, so I'm gonna need to upgrade my variable ND and my Black Pro Mist filters. I had to stock down the lens, and then I also had to crank the shutter speed, which I usually like to shoot at 180 degree shutter speed at almost as wide open as the lenses can go. I love how sharp 
Sigma art series lenses are, but I do think that sometimes it helps to have a little bit of softening and a little bit of blooming in the highlights. The last thing I should note is that I was using this lens on my Red Scarlet, which is a 5K sensor, but I was shooting in 4K, so it was cropped in a little bit. Um, I imagine this lens would be even better shooting on a full frame camera or being able to shoot at 5K like if I was using an Epic or a Epic Dragon or something like that. I found myself kind of missing the 18 to 35. Um, 18 millimeters is just such a great focal length. I did really like being able to zoom in pretty far at 70 millimeters, especially with the crop, um, it was a little bit tighter than normal, so I did like that. To wrap it up, this lens is really great. I'm really excited that I bought it, and I'm really excited to use it in future projects. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like. Let me know what you think in the comments, and make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of any new videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.